okay so as you all can see that I have started to just outline my bird here okay you'll get to know gradually what sort of a bird it is which bird it is and uh, as you can see I have drawn the beak over here I have outlined it as well as the eye and I have actually uh, tried to outline two portions here so this portion down here as well as the other portion up there so I will be leaving them and I shall not be shedding them that's one part and I'll gradually show you the second part now I shall imagine that the light is coming from this way so the sun or the tube light or the bulb is reflecting its light this way so that means if the light is being reflected on this side this side of the object or the subject will be much more lighter okay it will have less value compared to this one so this one will have a darker value over here on this side of the body on this side of the body it will have a darker value that will create the contrast now to begin with I am starting with the darker value as I need to show you how it would exactly look like so what you're supposed to be doing is you're supposed to be creating some really tiny dots now stippling has only one color of dots uh, it could be black or blue or any other color but pointillism has uh, you can use any any color which you'd like to for now I'll be using the red color as I'm trying to stipple using one color so this is monochromatic and I hope you can use any color that you wish to As you can see that I have tried to stipple but at first I was trying to outline the body so that I know that I should not go anywhere out of the body and I've tried to stipple using small tiny dots here and you can start too as well so now as you all can see that I have tried to stipple it takes quite a long time to stipple but we always have to ensure that we put the best of our efforts and the best of our energy to create something better remember these are very small dots that have been aligned next to each other very closely and the way you stipple is not that you put dots anywhere you have to put them in an order so for example if I am stippling then I have to ensure that the dots are in a line they are not anywhere spotted so these dots were aligned very close to each other and that's the first part I've tried to create a darker value here to show that there is less light so I've shaded here much more darker and then I'm going to shade here a little bit lighter which means that I will place the dots a bit far from each other not completely far but a bit far as I need to create a medium value here you can see that I have now uh, placed the dots however they don't look merged but I'd like to show you that I'm not just coloring and I'm trying to create the dots and I encourage you to do that. Uh, my marker is thick so it creates thicker dots. The, you know, the lighter uh, the nib is, I mean to say that the thinner the nib is, the more uh, smaller dots you could create. How my dots are being spaced far apart as I'm trying to stipple. Uh, as they come towards the light so this is how I thought of shading my work as you can see it is darker the dots are very close to each other moving on the dots are close to each other but they are still a bit far apart and then when they come slowly towards the end they are very far apart because there is more light here so this is my stippling art and I have tried to create my bird and I have stippled I hope to see your work as well